Tell me what your reaction is to the arrest of Kifi D. Well, surprise number one, because I didn't think um, Kifi D had never get arrested. Nor do I want to see him get arrested. You know, let's get one thing uh, straight. And then first and foremost, you know, me and Keefe D played on the same Pop Warner football team. And whatever the circumstances, if he had an involvement with anything, if he didn't have any involvement with anything, I still, who want to see? I wouldn't wish somebody to go into prison on my worst enemy. The DA says that Keefe D was in the car with his nephew and that presumably his nephew, according to the DA, is the one that shot Tupac and that it was done with the full knowledge of Keefe. Um, do they have it right? There was only two people in the car. And Pac not going to tell the story. I ain't going to tell the story, but I tell you this. And it's, I, I never had nothing bad to say about uh, uh, Orlando because <laughs> number one, he wasn't a shooter. Number two, he came to my hearing and told <laughs> to let me go and tell the truth. They still didn't let me go. If you are called to testify in this case? I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. Why not? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Why not? Well, number one, like I, because I'm not going to get on the stand and testify on somebody for what? They seem to be saying that Orlando was the shooter and Keefe was in on it, that he had full knowledge of what was going down, and it was revenge for Orlando getting beaten up by Tupac and his team uh, at the MGM after the Tyson fight. Is that correct? No. Then who shot Tupac? It wasn't Anderson, so that's all I got to say about that part. To summarize, you are saying Orlando was not the shooter, although you won't say who the shooter was. You are not saying whether Keefe was involved in any way in the shooting, um, and you are saying that if you're called to testify by either side, you will not comply, you will not testify. Do I have that right? A thousand percent. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't testify. None of that.